Hi there classmates! Welcome again to Elam School. Ako po ulit si Teacher Elam at bago ang lahat, thank you po sa ating mga subscribers. Tuwang-tuwa ako dahil sa pagbisita ninyo sa aking channel. I consider my channel to be a reviewer on the go kasi kahit saan nasa bus kayo nagko-commute or nasa MRT or nasa CR, manood lang kayo sa videos kung marami na kayong matututunan for sure. And for this video, we will have an exercise on basic grammar rules and concepts. For the directions, just choose the letter of the best answer. Pause the video if you need more time. So here there will be 10 items and the passing score is 7 or 8. And some helpful tips for those taking college entrance exams or board exams like the civil service exam or the let, I recommend that you practice answering on a bubble sheet using a Mongol 2 pencil. Para pagdating sa actual exam, sanay na kayo sa pagsushade. Alright? And if you have any questions, just comment below and I would be glad to answer your questions. Enjoy! Let's start! For question number 1, letter A, some of the infinity stones is missing from the power gauntlet. B. Some of the infinity stones are missing from the power gauntlet. C. Some of the infinity stones was missing from the power gauntlet. And D. Some of the infinity stones were either missing from the power gauntlet. The correct answer is letter B. So some indefinite pronouns will be singular or plural depending on the information that comes after them. So I am referring to all, half, some, none, most, etc. So here in this sentence, the subject is some. Of the infinity stones is a prepositional phrase and the words infinity stones is plural. So it makes our subject plural. And thus, we use the plural form of the verb, which is are. Again, the correct sentence is, some of the infinity stones are missing from the power gauntlet. For question number two, for letter A, each of the city firefighters are competent and ready for any crisis. B, each of the city firefighters is competent and ready for any crisis. C, each of the city firefighters were competent and ready for any crisis. And D, each of the city firefighters had been competent and ready for any crisis. The correct answer is letter B. Tandaan yung grammar rule natin. If a subject is modified by the words each or every, that subject is singular. And thus, yung gagamitin natin ay is instead of are. So for number 2, the correct sentence is, Each of the city firefighters is competent and ready for any crisis. For question number 3, letter A, neither of the arguments is plausible. Letter B, neither of the arguments are plausible. Letter C, neither of the arguments were plausible. And letter D, neither of the arguments have been plausible. The correct answer is letter A. So for items like these, remember that if a sentence begins with neither or either, without the or or the nor, the verb is singular. For example, we say, either of the two restaurants is open, and we do not say, either of the two restaurants are open. Similarly, for this item, the correct sentence is, neither of the arguments is plausible. We're now at question number 4 guys. So for letter A here, um, each of the siblings dances gracefully. Letter B, each of the siblings dance gracefully. C, each of the siblings dance so gracefully. And letter D, each of the siblings have been dancing gracefully. The correct answer is letter A. So yung rule na nag-a-apply dito ay, if a subject is modified by the words each or every, that subject is singular and will take the singular form of the verb. So here, the correct answer is A. Each of the siblings dances gracefully. Number 5, letter A. All of the milk tea I bought are gone. Letter B. All of the milk tea I bought is gone. Letter C. All of the milk tea I bought has gone. And letter D. All of the milk tea I bought were gone. The correct answer is letter B. 
This is similar to item number one. So some indefinite pronouns like all, some, will be singular or plural depending on what comes after them. So here, of the milk tea I bought is a prepositional phrase and the word milk tea makes our subject singular. And thus, we use the singular form of the verb, which is is. So the correct sentence is, all of the milk tea I bought is gone. But if we replace milk tea with hamburgers, hamburgers is plural so we use the plural verb and we say, all of the hamburgers I bought are gone. Hey, if you're enjoying the exercise, like and subscribe. Share with your friends and loved ones. Let's continue. For question number 6, letter A, most of the VIP seats were taken. Letter B, most of the VIP seats was taken. Letter C, most of the VIP seats had been taken. And letter D, most of the VIP seats have had been taken. The correct answer is letter A. The best sentence is, most of the VIP seats were taken. This is question number 7. Letter A. Either Morissette or Kyla is singing in Ethel's concert. Letter B. Either Morissette or Kyla are singing in Ethel's concert. Letter C. Either Morissette nor Kyla is singing in Ethel's concert. And letter D. Neither Morissette or Kyla is singing in Ethel's concert. The correct answer is letter A. So yung rules English grammar, subjects joined by or or nor, take a verb that agrees with the last subject. So here, yung last subject is Kaila, which is singular, so we use the singular form of the verb, which is is. Again, the correct sentence is, either Morissette or Kaila is singing in Ethel's concert. We are almost done, guys. So we are now at question number 8. Letter A, neither Vicky nor her friends are leaving the party early. Letter B, neither Vicky nor her friends is leaving the party early. Letter C, neither Vicky or her friends are leaving the party early. And letter D, either Vicky nor her friends are leaving the party early. Tandaan ulit yung rule, subjects joined by or or nor take a verb that agrees with the last subject. Question number 9. The choices are Letter A. Avoiding unhealthy food and visiting a specialist was recommended to the patient to prevent future attacks. Letter B. Avoiding unhealthy food and visiting a specialist were recommended to the patient to prevent future attacks. Letter C. Avoiding unhealthy food and to visit a specialist was recommended to the patient to prevent future attacks. And letter D. Not eating unhealthy food and visiting a specialist was recommended to the patient to prevent future attacks. The correct answer is letter B. Avoiding unhealthy food and visiting a specialist were recommended to the patient to prevent future attacks. And lastly, for question number 10, letter A. The orchestra was asked what role or instrument each played. Letter B. The orchestra were asked what role or instrument each played. Letter C. The orchestra is asked what role or instrument each played. And letter D. The orchestra were asking what role or instrument each played. The correct answer is letter B. Did you get that right? Okay, a collective noun is a noun used to name a whole group like army, crowd, orchestra, audience, flock, class, herd. Collective nouns may be singular or plural depending on their use in the sentence. So sa example na ito, orchestra was used in a plural sense. Dito tinatanong kung ano yung ginagawa or ano yung instrument na pinapatugtog ng mga members ng orchestra. So gagamit tayo ng plural form of the verb, which is where instead of was. Alright? So, what score did you get? <laughs> Comment your scores below so I will know if I need to make some more videos like this. If you got 7 to 10, that's excellent. Great job! If you got 6 below, don't worry. Mapapataas nyo pa yung scores nyo with constant practice. Like and subscribe na mga classmates para masaya tayong lahat. Thank you all for watching!